Hello everyone, I am back again today with another haul. Uh, this is from a small, well it was an estate sale haul and I went on the last day and by the time I got there there wasn't a lot left. Um, but I'll go over those items and then I also did some thrift shopping in town. And this was just me kind of getting back into the swing of things after being on vacation and being sick and trying to get settled back into work and um, just the holidays. So hopefully um, I can get through everything in a timely manner because I do have quite a bit of stuff here. So I'll get started and um, thank you for joining me today. And I am trying to um, get my YouTube channel launched and started and I do have videos out there so give me um, a like or some comments and um, I'd appreciate some subscribers out there. I don't have um, a lot going on with my channel right now but um, if you're enjoying the content please please like and subscribe I'd really appreciate it. All right. I'll get this set up and we'll start going through items. All right, so this first item is, um, it's a signed piece of art. Um, I'm assuming that this is probably a lithograph. I don't think this is an original, but it is signed at the bottom and um it says main hall and then it has the signature in pencil and then it has a signature i believe from the print um, and i think this says j-e coil c-o-y-l-e um i believe this is the main hall of I'm not sure if it's the Missoula or the Bozeman campus here in Montana. Um, but the price on this was originally 20. I was in on the last day, so it was half off. Um, it's in a nice, thick, heavy duty oak frame. Um, and it is matted very nicely. And since the matting's um, black and maroon, I'm assuming maybe this might be the Missoula main hall, because um, Missoula's colors are maroon or burgundy and silver, I believe. So, um, but it's a really nice, nice piece of art, and um, Yeah, on the back it just has, um, it's stamped Coil Graphics, um, Sandy, Utah. So, I'll, um, I'll take a look at this, get it cleaned up. It's a little dusty and get this listed, but, um, it's a nice piece of Montana memorabilia, um, Sorry, the reflection from the ring light is hitting that glass on there, but it's a nice frame. Um, so it'd be a nice piece for somebody in Montana or somebody who used to live in Montana or even go to the school. Um, but I will do some more research, get it priced out. I'm hoping this will probably sell for about 50 to 80. Um, but I'll do some research on the artist and add some of that information to the description. Okay. And then I did get this pin cushion. You know, it is, it's older. Um, I would say it is vintage because it's probably from the 50s or 60s um, but my mom is collecting pin cushions and I don't think she has a green one so I'm gonna do some research and see 
um, I'm going to do some research. I'm going to do some reconnaissance and do uh, see if she's got um, this one. She has a cabinet full of pin cushions and I'm pretty sure she has a red one, but I don't think she has this green one. And, um, you know, even some of these pins and needles and things that are in here are kind of interesting. Um, so this was listed at five, but this was the half day off the estate sale, so I got it for two fifty. And that's probably going to be a gift for mom, unless she has one, and then I'll get it listed and maybe sell for about twelve to fifteen. It's a nice large size. Um, you know, it's like the size of a nice large red or green tomato. Um, so. We'll see. Hopefully she doesn't have this one and this can be part of her Christmas gift. And here's um, another pin cushion. This one's a little dusty, so I'll have to clean this up a bit. And um, I picked this up because I like the, it's probably a piece of wool tartan um, print. And it's, you know, $2, so I only paid a dollar for it. It has a tons of, ton of pins in it. Um, but when I flipped it over, I noticed this was, um, Pendleton. So when I first picked it up, I just kind of picked it up and looked at it and set it back down. And then I went back to the table and picked it up again. And, um, that's when I flipped it over and saw that it was Pendleton. So I am not sure if somebody made this from a Pendleton shirt and they just used the tag off of it or if they just came this way because I did find a few others listed online so um I don't know I just think this is really really neat and they do sell I was seeing them sell for about I think 20 to 30 dollars online um so I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this, whether I want to list it or um, gift it to mom because she is collecting pin cushions. So we'll see. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards keeping this one, but um, I'll have to figure out what I want to do with it. Might, might list it, might keep it. And then um, these are adorable and I think I'm keeping these. Um, this was the first thing I saw when I walked through the door and I didn't even see the this side of the box. I just saw the items that are in the box and um, the tag is six, but I paid three for all. Um, I'm sorry, there's going to be some tape sound here. Because I'll see if I can get this open. Um, but they are, they look to be, at least from my... research and what I'm familiar with. They look to be probably mid-century, um, probably from the 60s, maybe the 70s. I don't think they're any newer than that, um, just because of the colors. And they are these little ceramic eggs and um, there's one or two that have damage, and then there's a couple in here that have these little ceramic animals. They're um, like birds or chicks, and I think these are hobbyist pieces, um, and they are just adorable. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it looks like there's eight in here. Not all of them have the little chicks. Um, 
but they're super sweet. And the side of the box says Easter eggs for small tree from Grandma Lorna's. Um, so I am most likely going to keep these. Um, I just love them. And it's kind of neat because I think you can use it for Christmas and Easter. Um, but here's the orange and they're speckled. Most of them are speckled and then lined <clears throat> with this gold paint. And then, like I said, they have, um, these little chicks and you can tell they've been glued in because some of them came loose, but this chick is white with gold trim. And then some of them are plain, um, you know, and then it, this one has a smooth edge. It's not that crackled, cracked egg look. Um, but it, there is damage on these. Um, so like this one is cracked, but it looks like somebody's tried to glue it back together. Um, but this one's kind of a olive green color with gold trim. And there's no chicken here, but it did come with, I thought it was kind of cute. It did come with, I think there's two of these little plastic chicks and, and these are plastic and, you know, I'm assuming that they probably just set those in there just for looks or something. Um, or maybe the estate sale company did that. I don't know, but they're adorable. Um, here's a blue or it's white with blue and green speckles. And then it has like a little bluebird in there that's glued in. And this one looks like it's in pretty good shape, probably not um, any damage that I can see. But just the colors, you know, the, the orange and the olive green, and it's just making me think of mid-century modern colors. Um, this one is, kind of like a light um, spring green I guess and it has it's smooth with the gold finish no egg or no glue residue or anything so you can kind of put your own little miniature in there which I think is kind of cute and then um, you know, unfortunately, I love this color. This is like a chartreuse green with like a turquoise speckle and then the cracked egg piece with some gold trim. You know, there's a gold drip in there. And But this one is cracked. It looks like maybe it had been glued back at one point, but I can't find the piece. It wasn't in the box. So I don't know, I might buy... Um, some gold paint or something just to kind of smooth that out so it isn't so rough but I'll, I'll definitely keep this and use this um, even though this one is broken and I don't see any glue on the inside so I don't think this had a chick or a bird or anything in it so you can add your own um, Here's a brown one. This is almost like kind of reminds me of like a drip glaze. So it's like a brown chocolate brown glaze with um, white and it probably combined, you know, to give this mixture of like creamy yellows and oranges. Very cool. Um, gold detailing on the trim on the rim again and, um, you know, no glue on the inside. So Again, this one, you can probably just add your own. And again, you know, those mid-century colors. And here's a dark blue one with, um, I don't know, like black speckles. And I think some of these lighter spots or like um, slips in the glaze or it didn't completely cover. Um, gold trim with the cracked shell and then it has the plastic egg in it. Really cute. Um, but otherwise, no, no other damage on this one. 
um, oh, one of my favorite colors, the purple with the blue and maybe black speckle on it, um, gold trim. This one might have had a chick in it originally. It feels like there's rough maybe glue in it. But then they put in um, like cold trim spots on the inside too, which I thought was really cute. But again, empty, so you can add your own little miniature to this. Um, and then this is like a plastic dove with a little bit of glue on it, you know, so maybe maybe they had that in in one of those it almost looks like a, um, a wedding cake dove so maybe that came off of you know one of their wedding or anniversary cakes or something i don't know it's kind of cute and then um kind of a heartbreaker is i did find a pink shard so I'm sure there was a pink egg and it probably broke. And I'm assuming the estate sale company probably threw it away. Um, but it would have been nice to see the pink one. Um, and then here's the last one, which is um, solid white with gold trim. And then it has the, um, the white egg and, you know, this one has that yellowed the older glue that was yellowed and um but you know i can probably re-glue it maybe try to get some of that old glue off um it is chipped here the glaze is chipped on the chest but you know if you just re-glue it and stick it back in there you're not even really gonna see but this is these are adorable and um they're just super sweet and um so I will put them in a better box, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get the tape off of here and I'm going to save um, this piece and put that in whatever box or storage container just so that this piece of the box with the writing can stay with the original items. Um, that's just <laughs> kind of weird and sentimental that way. I try to keep things original and try to keep pieces um, together and um, I don't know I'm just weird that way <laughs> but anyway these are fantastic I love them and um, I'll definitely be keeping these for myself Okay, um, then I did get, they had a little bit of jewelry, not a lot. This is a little baggy and I believe it has two pieces in it. Um, this was $5, but I only paid $2.50. So it has this nice little hat pin piece. It's like a flower with a faux pearl on the end. I don't see any name on it. Um, but it could be used, like I said, as a hat pin, or it could be used, um, you know, kind of hold a, stick it through a scarf or, um, you know, a coat. But it's really pretty. I just like the colors of it. It's, you know, gold with, with the white faux pearl. And then same thing with this one. This is a brooch with... Um, gold tone with faux pearl and some most likely little crystals in there oh and this one doesn't have a pin back shoot i did not see that i think when it was in the bag i saw this this pin and i thought it had a pin back so um hmm, i'll have to see what i can do with that um, it's probably not worth getting it repaired but um, maybe it could be used for a craft piece 
but really um, heavy feeling, very substantial feeling. So I need to learn to open these bags and um, <laughs> look at them a little bit closer, but still pretty and probably still worth the 250 that I paid for it. Um, they had an office in the house and I found these um, gummed labels and they're really cool and I don't see don't see a date on them anywhere but I would say these are probably from the 50s just maybe 60s just looking at the printing on the inside priced slightly higher west of the Rockies oh that's interesting there's a Eureka mailing or shipping label for every purpose hmm office labels ask your dealer to show you this marvelous assortment of labels for every office use handy convenient compact 45 cent regular value for 20 cents wow but um there's a few that had been used and um my first thought was oh i can use these for my packages and then once I really looked at it, I thought, no, this is cool. This might be a nice little advertising piece. Um, so I paid 50 cents for this and, um, I haven't done any research research on this, but maybe it would sell for, um, 12 to 15. But, um, I think when I was trying to comp these and look these up at the estate sale, I only saw maybe one or two others listed and I think one of them didn't have the front cover it was just um, like a sheet of labels or something like that so but I just like the look of those I think they're really neat looking um, and then another um, piece from the estate sale this um was marked two dollars paid a dollar and then this is the i think it's de grazia um piece and it's a little i'm assuming like a hand mirror and then it has the um de grazia backing so it's like a little girl or boy holding a pink umbrella and then it has a a mirror you know so you can keep this in your purse or you know up on a on a dresser makeup table really cute and the degrazia pieces i think go um fairly well I think mainly the jewelry um, so maybe 12 to 14 for this piece um, I don't I haven't done research on a mirror I didn't even know they made anything like this but the there's like a squash blossom necklace that's it's plastic um, but it has the painting on each piece of the necklace. Um, those go for pretty good money. And I have one that's broken that I need to get listed. Um, when I bought it, I didn't realize it was broken, but you know, maybe for somebody that can use it for replacement pieces or something. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, this sells for pretty decent money. For me, <laughs> $15 and up is is decent money um, okay so this is an enamel um, plate dish so this was marked five but I paid 250 and this is Anne Marie Davidson handcrafted enamels Sierra Madre California and um, 
it's this nice bright orange color and I don't see any cracks in the enamel unless those are cracks I think that's just maybe part of the paint or the design um, but it's really heavy in really good condition and I'm hoping that you know I can get 25 or up for this piece 25 to 30 um, again I'll have to do research on this but um, enamel pieces I think sell for for pretty good money and um, it's a nice little trinket jewelry dish um, that you know you could keep on a dresser or a bureau or you know bookshelf really pretty in good condition and then I did go to the thrift store um, and I picked up a few items so um, I watch the old curiosity shop Scott and he talks a lot about um, and it's the old curiosity shop on YouTube and I believe he does have an eBay store as well um, but he talks a lot about early American press glass and cut glass and when I saw this I really liked it because it had the flowers and then it has um, butterflies on it here and I just thought it was really pretty and I just assumed it was pressed glass when I saw it but when I picked it up and felt it he always talks about you know it's cut glass and it's quality cut glass when um, you can feel it like it's going to um, cut your hand and then you can actually feel and see like where they cut it on the wheel and that's what this is like this has multiple cuts to it so somebody um, I believe just listening you know to the descriptions somebody took this and cut this against um, a cutting wheel and it was quite a bit for me it's $15 and um, the bottom part is just gorgeous um, and this really is sharp so you can feel this when I picked it up at the store I picked it up from the bottom and that's once my fingers hit it I was like ooh that feels like it's gonna cut into my hand and so this is a I'm assuming a lead crystal hand cut flower bowl um, I'll do some research and see if I can find out anything on the pattern, but I think it's going to be really hard to find the pattern or identify it. Um, and I like it so much. I think I'm going to keep this piece. Uh, and I did pay $15 for this one. Um, so unless they sell for crazy money online, um, I'm probably going to keep this piece. But um, the clear crystal pieces are coming back um, into, I don't know, favor again. People are really enjoying them and liking them. And I'm um, just adding a black piece, a velvet piece here to maybe see if some of that detail will come through better. couple butterflies couple different styles this looks kind of more like a daisy um, yeah so it's just <laughs> it's really pretty um, so we'll see um, I think like I said I'll probably probably keep it for myself but um, I'll check it out and see what they're selling for And then um, this piece, 
this is this is a piece I got at the thrift store and I did pay five dollars for this it's metal um, and it's green it's like a darker green on the back it says um, made in USA it's kind of stamped into the middle there's a number one and then there's this spiky hook and um, I just really like the look of it I'm not sure if maybe this is a key holder or I was hoping it was maybe like a receipt holder where you poke the receipts in and they just hang there but um, and you probably put a screw in here and hang it on the wall I'm assuming I don't know I'll do some research on this but um, thinking that maybe this might be worth about 20 to 25 but I need to figure out what it is and do some research and find a price for it okay and then I found these um, there's like a book section and they, they have a whole stand of Christmas cards and these were just kind of stuck in the front and I was standing there talking to my mom and my eye caught these and I was just like oh I just have to have those so I just grabbed them while I was talking to her um, but these are definitely you know 50s feel these are pink like a light pink with different greens and gold tones um, wherever you are and whatever you do may this holiday season be happy for you <laughs> really cute copyright American greeting corp Cleveland USA American greeting card uh, yeah but just based on the colors these definitely have to be from the 50s or 60s there's couple stockings three stockings and one ornament and then they do have the original envelopes which are you know kind of discolored but I thought these would be a lot of fun um, I might sell a couple of them and I might keep a couple of them for like journaling and crafting but I just love the look of these and there was no price on these, but I probably paid like a dollar. Um, my thrift store is really good. I just take items up and if they don't have a price, I just don't say anything and they just ring them up for like a buck or two. So um, this is a smaller bag of um, needlepoint or um, cross stitch floss this was two dollars and this is the very uh, the color I don't know variegated color I don't know how else to say it um, so you get you know like the blue you know as you're stitching it goes from a deeper blue to a lighter blue and same thing with the orange the purple the green and there's like a red and probably more like a pink um, um, there's one in here that even go, goes from like orange to yellow it's like a that'd be a good Halloween one so um, whenever I can find these for a decent price I pick these up and I'll offer them to my mom or I have um, an old vintage sewing box and um, I'll keep them in there too and um, I do plan on using these someday um, and I have to be careful because um, I do have to do research on some of these because the the older ones are worth quite a bit of money um, shockingly quite a bit of money but I think these are newer because I don't think they had um, these variated uh, variegated colors here um, so like I said I'll offer that to mom if she doesn't want it then I'll just keep it for myself okay 
And then I found this Cincinnati Reds. It's a little um, satin pillow. They have this marked for 25 cents. Um, Novelty Company. It is stained on the back, so I'll, you know, definitely disclose that in the listing. Um, trademark used under official license of Major League Baseball. Made in Korea, so this is probably from the 60s or 70s. Um, I don't see a date on it, but I'll get that, um, staple out of there and I'll get this listed and I'm hoping it'll sell for like 15 to $20. I was doing some research, um, and there are Cincinnati red pillows out there, but not one like this that I could find. So I'm hoping it's kind of a rare piece and that, you know, for 25 cents, I can get 15 to 20 bucks out of it. Maybe, possibly. Um, and then this item, this is a Precious Moments ornament. And I usually stay a foot or more away from Precious Moments. They're just um, over overproduced and they just don't sell well. You know, there's a few that you might find um, that can sell for money, like I think the Nativity set. And I have sold one or two figurines before, you know, for like 15 or $20. But what I liked about this one that first attracted it to me was that I thought it had a cowboy hat on, but once I looked at it, it says fire department up on the placard. Um, so that's actually a fireman's helmet. And then I think he's holding like a puppy dog. It was only $4 and, um, it does look like it's new fish or it has the original styrofoam. So, um, you know, maybe if I can get 15 to $20 out of this, I'll be, I'll be happy with that. But I thought it was pretty cute. And it has, you know, I bought it because it has like a good theme. You know, it'll cross over into firefighters, fire department, you know, holding a puppy, which the puppy's really cute. So, and then it, it looks like it has like the original description card with it. So, and but there was no box, um, just the styrofoam. So, really cute. So I think it's in good shape. I need to get it out of the tape and just make sure everything's okay with it. Okay, and then I did get, um, I also watch Shiny Bright Doggo on YouTube, and those ladies collect Halloween and Vintage Christmas like nobody I've ever seen before, and they go out and they pick up, um, Halloween books and I think you know they collect some they probably sell some and then they talk about using some for um, decoration so I saw this one and um, you know there is a 75 cent sticker on the front but um, this sticker on the back is what I actually paid at the thrift store so this one I paid 50 cents for and this is dated 1986 so it is vintage um and i just like the graphics on the cover um and then inside the book i thought it's just really cool um so this one again i'll probably research and see what they sell for if it's not a lot um i was intending to keep this and use this um as part of my Halloween decoration. I was going to say Christmas. <laughs> Halloween decoration. Okay. And then... <laughs> I just like this. Uh, this was hey, it's sitting on the shelf over by the Christmas items. And I, I don't know. I don't know if maybe somebody just set it down or if 
somebody at the store saw this was like orange and green and maybe they thought it was more like a Christmas item but um, this is cool this says made in Hong Kong so this probably has to be from the 60s and there are these plastic um, they're like brown like a chartreuse green and then like a deeper avocado green color and then maybe like a lighter brown or purple color keep socks in matched pairs during washing and drying oh god i don't know if i'd even trust that and a modern washer dryer here's the new answer to wash day chore of matching and sorting socks each sock sorter keeps a pair of socks together during washing and drying and eliminates the time consuming job of sorting out each sock by color and size after the wash is done interesting north hollywood california very cool i, d I just liked that it was in the original original packaging definitely vintage and just is kind of a quirky item um and these have something stamped on it but i can't see what it says so and i'll try to get that um this price off but it'll probably take some of the label coloring off when i try to do that but this site is in really good condition so these I will definitely be selling and um, they're probably going to be pretty rare so 15 to 20 dollars maybe um, I'll see I'll see what they sell for there you know I always say that maybe there's not even any that have sold or any that are listed um and then i picked up um here's a joseph you know it's part of a nativity it's a joseph mary and um baby jesus and he's got a little bird there talking to him and a little lamb and um these are Lunds lights handcrafted in Korea so again probably 60s on these Auburn Washington and I got the set of three for 325 um, they're kind of a weird creamy yellowy <laughs> color and then here's Mary um, they're in really good shape. I don't see any decapitated heads or appendages. The Really the only kind of little ding that I even see is maybe the bird here might have a little, a little chip on his beak, but it's not, it's not bad. But I need to wipe these down and clean these up and, um, there are a few listed and um you know maybe only one or two sets that have sold and um so maybe like 30 to 35 i think the the couple of sets that i saw that sold only sold in like the 20 to 30 dollar range so but I didn't really look at condition on those. And I think they're all the same color. Um, but these are in really good condition. So I need to check and see if these are comparable to the other ones. Um, but I do want to get these photographed and get these listed. And then I think the last thing that I have are... Um, it's a Tupperware set. Um, these were just coming out 
in a cart and the color caught my eye and then I saw this design and I saw this you know the little star burst lids so I knew they were Tupperware there's only two canisters so this is the larger one and then this is the smaller one um, but they both have lids there's a little bit of um, dirt and paint but stuff that I can um, clean up and get off of these the smaller one it was marked 375 and the larger one was 425 so nine bucks for the two um, and since these are in pretty good condition I think there's probably supposed to be one more smaller one that goes with this set um, you know they may sell for 20 to 30 dollars I'll have to do some research and see what the value is on these but um, they used to sell really well and then you know there's different colors and so obviously the different colors would probably sell in different price ranges but I really like the orange it's nice and bright and cheery and um, just in really con good condition um, you know needs to be cleaned up but no and that mark on the bottom is from the from the pin so that'll come out and um, <laughs> need to get the hair off of it um, but there's no funky smells or anything or no stains so these are in good condition so I hope they'll sell well um, but that's about all that I got I um, just want to say thank you for joining me and hope you enjoyed the little thrift and estate sale haul and um, hope everyone has a great day and please remember to like and subscribe if you're liking the content that I'm putting out or um, you know if you have positive or negative comments please you know leave me some comments and give me some feedback on what you think all right thanks everybody have a good one